So let's talk about some different Avada header customization options that are available. You know, if your website's using the Avada theme on WordPress, then this header section right here has a lot of different options that you can choose to make it look and feel and behave exactly how you want it to. So a majority of these settings, these customization settings, are going to be in the Avada global options. So if you have Avada installed, if you hover over Avada here, you can op open up global options. And when you do that, you will find this section or this uh, sidebar here with a bunch of different options. If you click header, then there's four different categories of customization options in here. So you can choose the header position. Uh, some people put it on the side. I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, but you can switch the header over to the side. You can even put it on the bottom of the site, which is really strange. I would recommend just leaving it at the top. Uh, but then you have these overall layout options. When, when you hover over each of these, it'll expand so you can see it in more detail. But you can see we're using this one right here where it has this uh, filled in background color with the logo on the left and some menu options over here on the right. I also like to use these, this one right here. Uh, if you have more menu items, it gives you more space because it takes up the whole width because it's down below the the uh, logo here and then you also have a search feature here so these are the two I use the most but you know go ahead and use whatever fits your style so you can have like the menu items off to the left and the right with the logo in the middle so you can play around with those you just click on it click save and then you'll be able to see it show up here and then you also have the slider position so you can choose so this is like the slider right here and it's set to be below the the header which is most common and then you can choose which inf what information you want to display in these two corners the top left and the top right corner so header content one is going to be the top left so we have contact info there which is right here could also add an email address in but we'd prefer to have people call so we just have the phone number listed here and it is a clickable phone number so if somebody clicks on this on the mobile device then it'll go ahead and call and then uh, for the top right section we have navigation and that's just to get people to get a free quote so it's good to have calls to action up here at the very top of the header which is ultimately going to improve the conversion rate of your website. So I like to use phone number and then some sort of like get in touch, contact us, get a free quote, something up here in the top right. A lot of people like to put their social media up here in the top. I would not recommend doing that simply because if you're getting people to your website, you want them to be on your website. You don't want them to all of a sudden be off looking at your Facebook and then they see notifications from their friends and now they're distracted and they're not interested in what you have to offer, right? That actually also helps with search engine optimization, SEO. So the longer somebody stays on your website and the more pages they visit, the more Google thinks that people are finding what they're looking for on your website. And so that will ultimately help Google realize that people are finding what they're looking for on your site because they're staying on your site longer they're converting into leads and so that will actually boost your rankings on Google search so just just some uh, helpful information there uh, and then you can set a background image so let's say you want to use some sort of design back here you can do that you just upload the image save it that's pretty much it and then the header styling is going to give you more flexibility as far as how you want things to look. So you can see this top background color is set to brown. That's this color up here. And then you can choose padding. Uh, I like to use this header shadow. The Avada header shadow is going to create a little bit of a, uh, let's see if we have a page where I can show you this. Uh, not necessarily. That's all right. Uh, if this were, if this were not here and this was all white, actually, I, th I think I can show you here real quick. Uh, basically, what's going to happen is the header is going to bleed into the header. 
So you can see there's this shadow which breaks up this white header from the white background of the page. If we did not have that, then this would all look like one solid white piece, which doesn't look very good. Uh, so, you know, you can you can use that header shadow if you are using white background in the header area and then white background on the pages of your site. So that's always, uh, I, I like to use that on a lot of different sites. You can choose the header width, so 100% width. You can see how everything on the site sort of cuts off at this certain point. If you choose 100% header width, it would move this all the way over to the edge of the viewport, so whatever size screen people are using. And then these would be all the way over here too. Uh, so you do have that option. Then you can change the header background color separately from archive header background color. And then there's a header border color as well. So that's the overall styling. The other thing that a lot of people like to use is a sticky header. So if we turn this on, it's going to give us a bunch of sticky header options. Um, but if we come here, I'll show you how this works real quick. So you can see, now that we have the sticky header set up, when we scroll down the site, the header stays up at the top. Obviously, we'd need to change the coloring here because you can't see the logo. But that's a sticky header. It sticks to the top of the page no matter how far down you scroll. Um, you just got to be careful with this one because it can take up a lot of the viewport, basically the, the content people can see without having to scroll. So you just want to be a little careful that, that it doesn't turn out to be super big. Uh, but other than that, uh, you know, that's the basics. You have some different, you can choose to have it on mobile or not. There's some different uh, feature changes you can make here. You can even change the font size when the sticky header is active. Um, so yeah, that's basically the, the main elements of the header. Uh, if there's anything you did have questions about as far as, you know, Avada header customization, don't hesitate to reach out. You can always just drop your questions in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care.